The LeetCode platform has been around for nearly 10 years now, and the problems have changed drastically over the years. I remember first practicing for technical interviews back in 2016 when I was a junior in college. Back then, I still recall coming across LeetCode and thinking, oh, that platform, that's for geniuses. Those are for, you know, competitive programmers. While I spent my time prepping with the Cracking the Coding interview book. Now I feel like the CTCI book is kind of outdated. It isn't even mentioned really anymore in coding interview prep, at least I don't think. The leak code problems that I come across so many years ago are now baby problems in the eyes of many big tech companies today. What used to be a medium problem is now easy. What used to be hard is now medium. And what used to feel just impossible is now hard. Just out of curiosity, I used the Wayback Machine to look at the first 10 problems posted on the LeetCode platform to compare them to today, and here's what I found. Twosome was the very first problem added to the platform, and when it was first added, it was categorized as a medium problem. Now it's marked as easy. To be honest though, this doesn't really tell us much as I don't think leak code difficulty tags are accurate. What we really should look at is acceptance rates. Comparing the top 10 problems to today, all of them had a much lower acceptance rate compared to today. The way I interpret this is that as new people come across the LeetCode platform, these problems are more easily solved in comparison to many years ago. People that want to go into programming are more primed to be able to answer these questions and naturally the bar just gets raised. So in what way have these LeetCode questions gotten more difficult? Well, there are a couple different reasons I have to explain this. The first reason I think is due to the increased number of categories there are for algorithm problems. Using the Wayback Machine again, back when LeetCode was around for just a few months, there were only 29 categories with the most common ones being ones that I'm sure we all recognize. Binary search, graphs, trees, arrays, and a bunch more. Now, 29 categories, that's a lot already, right? Today, there are 71 categories total, and I'm sure that number will only grow as time goes on. So why does this mean that leak code questions and technical interviews in general are just more difficult? It means that we have to study significantly more problems to be considered interview ready. Instead of just focusing on the main ones like trees, graphs, arrays, cues, and some others, now it feels like there are many more niche topics that require our attention. Just look at some of these categories, union find, rolling hash, probability and statistics, quick select. All of this can be very overwhelming. A possible explanation for this increased number of algorithm categories over the years is that now leak code style problems are an industry wide standard to ask in coding interviews companies naturally need a wider pool to ask from. An interesting data point to also look at is how many company tags there were back in 2016, only 19. Today, there are over 1,100 company tags, absolutely insane. Literally every major tech company, mid-sized company, and many startups are tracked on LeetCode to ask these types of questions. With this increased number of algorithm categories, now there are just significantly more questions in general. There are over 3,400 questions on LeetCode right now. However, that number doesn't really paint the full picture. A way that LeetCode questions are much different now is that a lot of the questions are kind of just reskins of other questions. I've already talked about this on the channel before, but essentially there are groupings of LeetCode problems that are direct duplicates where the problem descriptions are different, but the code solutions are essentially identical. There are some problem descriptions on LeetCode that even say verbatim that it's a duplicate question. The reality is you don't need to study 3000 LeetCode questions to be interview ready, especially if you're taking a pattern focused study approach instead of just choosing random problems to solve. Instead of doing a bunch of duplicate problems on LeetCode, it's a much better use of your time to first choose your weaker topics, second, solve five to 10 of the most popular problems for that topic, and third, based on your solutions for those five to 10 problems, identify a common pattern that you can use to solve a majority of problems for that topic. This is the exact study approach that I use to land my job at Google, and also what I teach on my interview prep platform, algoswithmichael.com. 
Another reason I think leak code problems have changed over the years is that many problems nowadays involve more than one topic to solve in the most efficient way. For example, I was looking at one of the more recent leak code weekly contests and looked at the solutions for each problem. The first problem involves knowing the sliding window algorithm and bit manipulation. The second problem involves maps and stacks to be used. And then the third problem involves prefix sum and binary search. The last problem involves dynamic programming and binary search. So now newer leak code questions aren't just wanting you to express knowledge in one topic, but multiple topics combined into one problem, which I definitely think makes the problem more difficult. Another change that I think leak code problems have made over the years is that problem descriptions are kind of just longer and harder to digest. Have you ever stumbled upon a leak code problem and felt like you were reading an essay and then you had to reread it because you have no idea what you just read? Yeah, me too. It feels like this is becoming the new norm, possibly to make the problems more challenging, but who knows? These are just some of my observations of how leak code problems have evolved over the years. And although it may be intimidating to prep for coding interviews in today's world, the best advice that I can give is to study coding patterns instead of individual problems. You're gonna save yourself a huge amount of time doing this study approach, and you'll get the added bonus of truly mastering categories of algorithm problems and not just memorizing solutions. If you head over to my website, Algos with Michael, I have courses available for various topics like sliding window technique, topological sorting in relation to graphs, binary search, and finding top K elements using priority queues and quick select. Specifically for my YouTube audience, I offer a discount using the code ALGOHELP. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.